Uh, I'm going to ask you about somebody else who's the son of a famous wrestler, Bray Wyatt. Now, uh, to me, Bray Wyatt is like, uh, do you remember the Resident Evil films? Sure, yeah. And they always had these amazing trailers and great build-up, but then the film itself was a big pile of shit. Yeah, they usually and, were, but there was a lot of them. They made a lot of those films, though. A lot, and, and that, but that's the thing to me with Bray Wyatt is he's the unbelievable build-up, and he looks amazing. But uh, to me, he's he's had maybe one or two good matches, solo matches in his entire career. So uh, what's your take on Bray Wyatt and what do you think about me calling him uh, overrated? Uh, I like Bray Wyatt. I'm a fan. I, I don't, uh, to me, my, my thing with The Fiend is that he's not that over from a live crowd perspective. I mean, the crowd doesn't seem to, here's the problem. What is he? He's a heel, right? But isn't he supposed to be a gray area heel, kind of like what Steve Austin was before he turned full babyface? He goes after anybody, but he mostly targets babyfaces, but he is a man onto himself. So that means he should be a little bit more, he's an anti-hero, but he should be more over than he is. When that when the lights go out and that eerie music comes on and that screeching, I'm expecting the crowd to pop a lot bigger, and they're kind of tepid. They're kind of like, oh, okay, here comes the fiend. It should be one of those things where I think the lights go out in too many arenas at this point, and mm. people, and when it comes back on, people are not shocked anymore. So that whole lights out thing doesn't really work. It certainly doesn't work at AEW because you've seen what comes out when AEW turns the lights out. Um, and again, the Bray Wyatt's a great, the fiend's a great character. But it's already getting stale, in my opinion, and the fucking thing's not even a year old. That's what bothers me about wrestling today is that, you know, Steve Austin, The Rock, back in the day, Undertaker, they could go for years and not get boring. And if they got boring, they changed it up a little bit. Fiend debuted, what, in July? And we're in January of the following year, and it's already like, eh. I mean, the Daniel Bryan feud is good because those are two guys who could work good together, but... Um, Bray, he, look, he lost some weight. He looks a little bit better shape. He's still a Husky guy, but that's okay. I mean, a lot of wrestlers are built like that. That's, that's this is wrestling. Not everybody has to be a uh, slim trim, uh, buck 75. I mean, Bray, it looks like a wrestler. Uh, you know, his grandfather's black Jack Mulligan. He's got his grandfather's body type. Um, so again, I think the fiend character is great. And with Marvel comics and DC and these anti-heroes, the Joker and all that shit, mad popular today. I don't know why The Fiend isn't more popular. You know what I mean? Maybe people are, are burnt out on that kind of shit. Because when he first debuted with that mask, that shit was shocking. And he had the mm. head and the the head and the lantern and shit. That that SummerSlam debut with the head, awesome. But it it kind of faded. And I, I you know I, and I, sometimes honestly, uh, Adam, I forget that he's world champion. Sometimes I actually forget that. 